Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to do an instant zoom using Panacrop in Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, this can be really useful if you've shot your video with one camera and you need to add a zoom at a point and you want it to be an instant zoom rather than a slow pan in or a slow crop. I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, I'll show you this clip that does not have a zoom on it, and then we'll add one to it. I'm just going to play it, and you can watch it down here. And you see the motorcycle goes up in the air and he does the jump. And what we want to do is that when the motorcyclist hits the air, about right there, we want to zoom into his head and we want it to look like that we had a two camera shot with a second camera that had a zoom right there on his head. I'm going to show you how we do that. First thing we do is we go to pan and crop and that's this little icon right there and you click that. And on the pan and crop window, there'll be a marker here at the beginning of the timeline. Just select that, right click, and when you right click, there are a number of options. The option you want is hold, so select hold. What that does, it holds the zoom at that level until you come to another pan and crop. So right about there, we want to zoom into his head. So we're going to hit plus sign to put another keyframe. We're going to zoom in to the keyframe where we want his head right there. One of the things that I always do is I right click and select match output aspect, so I make sure I have the right aspect ratio. And then down here on this keyframe, we right click and we select hold again. And then wherever we want to go back to wide frame, we move our mouse to wherever we want the wide frame to start again. Let's say right there as the motorcycle touches down. We press plus to create another keyframe. And on the keyframe, we go ahead and right click and select restore, which gives us that full screen again. And on that one, we right click and we select hold again. And then when we play that, what will happen is that at those points, it'll zoom. Now if you watch here, I'll start from the very beginning. You see that right there it went to an instant zoom, and then when it came back, it went back to the normal screen. So if I play that slow motion, you'll see we were at a normal size there. We did an instant zoom because of our pan and crop right there. And then at some point, we go back to wide motion. And you know, if we want to change that, you notice right here, the it seemed like the camera was out of frame. We can select pan and crop, and we can move our zoom so that we zoom in closer. And the way we do that is we just change our keyframe to right there. And then as we move it, we can see where we want to put him in the picture. So he's going to be zoomed right there. Seems like he's going out of frame about there. And we do that. Easy to do. And, and the trick again was, I'm going to move this up here so you can see it. When you right click on the keyframe, select hold, and that's right there. And what that does, it holds the image steady between keyframes rather than doing a linear or fast or smooth motion between keyframes. Let's watch it one last time. We go to the zoom mode and then back to our wide frame. Easy to do. I'm Bill Myers. That's another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com. And also a lot more on my 101 tips and tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at my website as well as at amazon.com.